Hey guys, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. Today we've got five Dollar Tree DIYs. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which one's your favorite. For the first project, we're going to use this pot that we got in the garden area and spray paint it white with this semi-gloss spray paint. I would recommend using a high gloss if you can find it. What we want to do is create kind of a glass or ceramic look. Next, I'm going to take this grass from the Dollar Tree and unravel it and pull each of these little stems out. That way we can spread it out in the pot and they're not so bunched together. The stems that you pull out are a little bit smaller and shorter than the ones that go around the outside. So you'll just want to line those up and trim them. I think I ended up using about six of these from Dollar Tree. I just used some of this foam from Dollar Tree to put in the bottom and hold the grass. Personally, I thought the outer parts of the grass looked a little bit cheaper and not as good as the stems. So I placed those in the middle. And then once I used all of that, I started placing all the smaller stems around the outside. The last thing I did was take a little bit of twine and tied it around the base just to hold some of the grass so they weren't falling over the sides. For this project, you'll need one plunger and one mop. Screw off the top of both of those items. You will not need the top to the plunger and you won't need the pole to the mop. Then just pull out the actual mop part. Then to give this a stained look, I used the Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle and I watered it down and brushed it onto the whole plunger stick. Now it's time to add all the pieces to the plunger stick. So for the ends, I did three pieces of the mop and then I'm going to wrap it around like this and tie it on. I did two of these on each side. Then you'll grab another set of three, but this time you're going to make one end shorter than the other so that there's a longer piece and do the same thing. Then for the longest pieces in the middle, I only grabbed two pieces of the mop and you're going to wrap it around and make sure that one end is very, very short. And then I did two of the longest pieces in the middle. Then you'll go back to the three pieces of yarn and do another medium size one like you did on the other side and make sure they line up. I put my pieces a little bit too far out so I'm just scooting them back into the middle. And then finally for the shortest ends you're going to grab six pieces of the mop and wrap it around both of the sides. To give it a little bit more symmetrical and triangle look, I just went in and started cutting all the pieces. Now we're going to take care of all of the smaller pieces that are at the top. You'll want to hot glue where they kind of meet at the knot and then cut it right there. I would try and do this all on the back side if you can, so I flipped it over and just pulled the smaller pieces to the back, and then I'm just going through and hot gluing it and cutting it as short as I can.
Once that is complete, you can leave it like this, but I wanted a little bit more added to it. So I got these beads. They're just unfinished wooden beads from Amazon and I'll link that below. And I just put them on some twine and then I'm going to hang it in the front. Now it's time to add some twine so that we can hang it up. This next project is probably one of the easiest DIYs that I've done. We're going to take these little succulents that are in the wood triangles here and end up hanging them. And of course you want to pull off the sticker there and I use some twine. I measured it at 22 inches and we're just going to glue it on each side. To make it even, I measured in a half inch on each side and that's how far we'll glue in. Once you have your marks, you can put a little line of glue into that half inch mark. You wanna make sure that you're gluing these in the center of the triangle, not the back. If you end up doing it on the back, it'll actually hang weird and won't be flush on the wall. Now for this project, you'll grab one of these pots from Dollar Tree and I painted the whole top portion with white Waverly chalk paint and then I'm going to paint the bottom with Waverly chalk paint but in the color mineral. After three coats of the white paint, now I'm going to paint the bottom in that mineral color. Once it's all dry, it's time to add the flowers inside. Just put some floral foam at the bottom, and then I grabbed this lavender from Walmart. There is lavender at Dollar Tree, but I like the way that the Walmart one looks a little bit better, and it's around the same price. And I just put in all the pieces how I wanted them. Then I just filled in the rest with Dollar Tree rocks. For this one, we're gonna use this little storage container and use the antique pewter spray paint to give it that nice old metal look. We're gonna use five of these little bottles from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and remove the caps, we won't need those. And then we're gonna apply a couple coats of this chalk paint we use the white Waverly chalk paint. Once the spray paint has dried, we can go in and start distressing. I like to use a combination of black and brown. And of course we're gonna go in here and do some dry brushing and then also use a wet and dry paper towel to remove some of this and give it a really good distressed look.
Now that the bottles are done, we can go in and do the same thing. Just use some of that black and brown combination and lightly dry brush on the bottles. Next, we're gonna add some handles with this nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I didn't measure it, I just eyeballed it and made sure they were both the same size. And then I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue on the side and underneath that lip and then gluing on the handle. We just found these flowers at Walmart the other day. It's this whole bundle for only $3. I think that they're really, really pretty. And then also this lamb's ear from Walmart for only $2. You can always use Dollar Tree flowers. We really enjoy the Walmart ones though. We feel like it gives it a much higher end look than the Dollar Tree one. We used the whole bouquet of flowers and we ended up putting three flowers in each bottle. And then we used about half of the lamb's ear to put in each bottle. I found it was easiest to put the lamb's ear in first and then put the flowers in so you can kind of arrange it how you'd like. And to finish this project, the last thing we need to do is just place the bottles with the flowers inside the little crate. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.